all that, there's a new prediction that says inflation will not slow down holiday spending. Let's take a look at how much Americans have spent on holidays in years past. The number has increased by about 5% each of the past 10 years. This year, experts think we'll spend closer to 8% more than 2021. KSHB 41 News reporter Charlie Keegan went to the mall to find out how shoppers feel about spending for the holidays. Shoppers here at the Oak Park Mall say that the holiday shopping season feels like stepping on a never ending escalator of rising prices and inflation, but they've all found ways to deal with it. We have a big family, so it's not something we want to put off to the last minute. Preparation is the first step. A surprisingly high number of people we saw at the mall weren't holding a shopping bag. Taking pictures of Christmas ideas yeah. from the girls. These shoppers are looking for sales and checking the quality of items before buying. We start around this time of year and I kind of and just see what people are asking for. The second step is budgeting. Most everyone is prepared to spend more this year. Some are starting earlier to spread the spending across multiple paychecks. I will spend more than usual. And why do you do? Why are you going to spend more? Because I'm making more. <laughs> <laughs> so. Probably about the same. I usually kind of stay kind of in a, a like a, a price range for each person. So probably about the same. It may be more just with how expensive everything is this year. The National Retail Federation says inflation isn't scaring any shopper away. Good news for businesses like the Kansas City Nut Company. As soon as you uh, sell it, you rebag it and then it's gone. Carla Douglas says bags of sugary treats are popular gifts every year, and the company relies on that revenue. Very beneficial. Carries us through the entire year. Step three, make joy happen. Shoppers say they'll spend because Christmas only comes once a year, and they want to make it special. It's all about giving. He's, like I said, he's blessing us, and we're going to bless others and make others feel good. In Overland Park, Charlie Keegan, KSHB 41 News.